This is a daily new cases curve in that state. And as I mentioned, 20 new cases today, continuing the trend of double-digit infection numbers for more than a week now, all up 141 active cases in that state. Victorians are crowding the testing centres in Melbourne's hotspot areas. Let's go live to Patrick Murrell. And, Pat, there's also been a, a new death in the state as well. Yes, yeah, sadly, Kieran, this is the first coronavirus-related death in Australia since the 23rd of May, so over a month. The man in his 80s uh, died overnight, as well as that over the past 24 hours. We have seen 20 new coronavirus cases in Melbourne. Seven of those are linked to existing outbreaks. Eight of those are community transmissions. Now, of those linked to existing outbreaks, three a link to that uh, cluster in Keylor Downs, that family cluster. Three of them are linked to a dental practice in Maidstone. They are uh, workers at that dental practice as well. Uh, one additional case at a girls' college in Epping and uh, one additional case at the H&M store at the Northland shopping complex. We know there that several workers had attended the Black Lives Matter protest two weeks ago. Here was uh, Health Minister Greg Hunt speaking about that earlier this morning. And the message is it was never OK uh, for that protest to have uh, gone ahead, um, not because of the subject matter, noble, powerful, important, but because of the fact that two and a half weeks later, we have had an outbreak in, uh, in Victoria. There has been a significant relaxation in uh, parts of the public as a consequence of the double standard. Kieran, this is the eighth consecutive day of double-digit cases in Victoria and six hotspots have been identified in Melbourne. That's led to people in these hotspots to flood testing clinics. 20,000 tests conducted yesterday and this led to some pretty lengthy queues at some of those clinics. Chadston, for example, people were waiting for up to three hours. Chief Health Officer Brett Sutton says that uh, the centres all have the capacity to test. It's a traffic management issue and he has advised people to uh, get tested through their GP, book ahead to avoid the queues that way. He also says that we shouldn't really be seeing these spikes in people getting tested uh, because of higher numbers. They should get tested regardless of how many cases there are, even if they have the slightest symptoms. We want people to test all of the time, not just when uh, there's some anxiety about you know, where case numbers are going. We have an opportunity to control uh, numbers across uh, Metro Melbourne if everyone all of the time considers that uh, if they're symptomatic, they isolate at home, they don't see others, they present for testing. Is that, Kieran, we may see masks for the first time on the table in Australia. At the moment, there is currently no official health advice about the use of masks in public, though. Victoria's Chief Health Officer Brett Sutton saying he's currently re-examining that advice.